Yo, what's up? It's Nez, and welcome to the Saturday Select, where we play promising but still in development games. Originally, we were supposed to play Hellpoint for this week, but the game ran like total ass, and I couldn't have the heart to feature it on the channel since, well, we are going to play promising games, and if I didn't think it was promising enough, it won't be featured. This week, we'll be taking a look at the demo for Long Gone Days, an RPG Maker game that is somewhat of a military RPG slash visual novel that's set in a dystopian future. So let's check it out. This story is a work of fiction. All characters in this game are fictitious. Any resemblance to any actual events, persons living or dead is coincidental. What, did they have like references to Hitler? Common knowledge. What is common knowledge? From the day I was born, it was decided that I'd be a sniper, Sniper Rooney. As soon as I could talk and understand others, my training started. It was the same for every single one of my brothers. Or so I thought. Because of this, I grew up believing that the things that were taught to me at the Corps Army were things everyone knew about. Is that us? But who gets to decide what is important to know? As I was growing up, knowing anything about things like history or even how a family usually functions seemed like a complete waste of time. Meanwhile, learning how to control my breath and how to move my fingers accurately were far more important. When you have been spoon fed with limited choices your whole life, you don't really question the stuff given to you, you just assume it's normal. But what use are those things I, I was taught during the past 22 years if I was ever taken away from the battlefield? If it wasn't for the events in the past few days, I would have never questioned any of these things. Service Academy. They won. Alright, let's continue. The first thing you should remember when you cross the border is that you will be within Russian territories even though it's separated from the mainland. Normally, I'd teach you a thing or two about speaking with the locals, but in this particular operation, any kind of communication with outsiders is strictly forbidden. Do not tell them the name on your dog tags. Is that clear? Tomorrow, I'll be sent for deployment for the first time. I wasn't supposed to go, but their previous sniper, sniper broke his arm and I was transferred to, to the squad as a last-minute replacement. You should also note that it is currently summer in the Northern Hemisphere. Those of you who have already deployed at least once will appreciate the fact that summers in Killingrad range from 55 degree Fahrenheit to 73 degree Fahrenheit, but it still rains just as often as in any other season. As you'll be representing the Polish army, a zero-tolerance policy towards misconduct will be in order. Is that clear? I wish I had more time to prepare. I'm not sure if I'll be able to do a good job like this. Private Rourke? Yes, sir. You can find the briefing with your rest the, with the rest of your notes. If you have any doubts, just ask anyone in your squad. Thank you, sir. I guess that's us. Okay, that's all for me. At ease, soldiers. We are counting on you, soldiers. You are dismissed. Information about the core and Operation Pregolia have been added to Rourke's notes. You can access the notes tab from your menu. The dog on the other side of the street won't shut up. <laughs> well, there's us. What's this? Can we interact with it? How do we interact with it? Door plate. Training grounds. We can save our progress. Continue without saving. Let's save our progress. Sure. Hi there. What's your name? Can we talk to you? 
What are the controls for this thing? Um, skills, notes, options. Yes. Keyboard config. What are the controls? <laughs> right. So there's that. We have items. Items, weapons, skills. No skills yet. Morale. Incendiary shot. Roar, age 22. Hi there. What's your name? Man, good luck replacing Coil. That guy could shoot a pin from miles away. I'm a fairly competent sniper too, you know. I snipe all this, the Twitch streams. Did you know you could update your info screen info from the screen? Really? So we can only save from these monitors. That's good to know. What's this? This is the greenhouse. Most of our food grows here. Hi there. I could swear I saw one of the tomatoes moving. Let's not talk to this guy. Do you think someone will notice if I don't shower? Yeah, someone will notice if you don't shower. Door blade, showers. Can we have some fun sex rooney with the other soldiers? We have to train first. Not yet? No. Nope. Okay, fine. We have to work for our sex rooney Door plate, barracks. Can we go to the barracks? I should train a bit first. Training is very important for our health. We can't skip leg day, arm day, and sniper day. Go to training grounds, continue exploring. Yeah, I think we explored it off. Well, hi there. Is this our spot? Start basic training. Hey Rourke. You're a cutie. Uh, hi? Sorry, who are you? We don't know who she is. Is this some kind of joke? I noticed you are about to train with basic targets. Why don't you activate the advanced ones? To be honest, I don't remember how to use them. It seems like our protagonist here has the case of New Game Syndrome. Really just enter your ID on the console and select advanced mode. It's pretty straightforward. Since you're forgetful, remember they won't attack you. So the art in this game is actually very high quality. Especially the, the avatar sprites. It's not your usual bad quality RPG maker games. It would be ridiculous to leave something like that. By the way, you should try these bullets. Incendiary bullets have been added to your inventory. Mm, okay, it's good for setting our enemies on fire, I guess. Do incendiary bullets exist in real life? I don't know. Whoa! Let's try the bullets again, shall we? Use any kind of special bullet. Access the skills menu. The icon next to each skill represents the cost. The first number is how many times, how many items you need, and the second number represents how many you own. So that's us, and those are enemies. I guess we get attack. We have these are skills. Incendiary shot. Fire explosive ammo. Main tech burn status on the enemy. Incendiary bullets. One. Well, we have two, so we can use it. Well. Oh, so it's like XCOM. Where you get to aim on various... No, that's like XCOM, more like Fallout. It's a bad system. Yeah, it's a bad system. Low HP, high evasion. Medium HP, medium evasion. High HP, low evasion. Legs. Yeah, let's just go with... Headshot. Enemy soldier has been defeated. The center of mass is the easiest part to hit. You'll rarely miss if you aim for the body. What? Well, I'm sure you know that already. Most enemies have multiple spots you can aim at, and every spot has different stats. These stats can be seen during target selection. Certain spots like the head or the body will instantly end the fight if their HP reaches zero. While aiming at other spots can give you an advantage in battle, like lowering the enemy's evasion. So what does regular attack do? Regular 
attack is just normal bullet shot, I believe. Let's aim for the body. 69. Let's keep attacking the body. Did that work? Enemy soldier has been defeated. Are those bullets great? I don't really need them, so you could have these too. Incendiary bullets added to inventory. Are these gonna come in handy later? Probably. Anyway, I've gotta go. I'll be giving you instructions remotely tomorrow. Oh, so she's my spotter, Rana. Wish you could have said that from the beginning. So for those who don't know, a spotter is the second man, second wing, second wing, second man, is the partner of a sniper who spots all of his targets for him. Maybe it would be a good idea to take a shower and sleep soon. Information about the aim system has been added to Rourke's notes. So I'm guessing this game operates on a day system. I don't want to go back there. That's where the instructor was. Since it operates like a day system, it's, it's more or less like usual visual novels. More events will be unlocked on each day. Take a shower. Uh, yeah, we should probably take a shower before sleeping. Do we have any steamy scenes? I think I might miss these hot showers. I must be going crazy. Hmm. That's my squad's medic. You should be able to give me some info about the operation. This is a unisex shower. Wonderful. I believe his name was... Adair? Maybe I should just call him Medic or something. Let's call him Medic. I can't pronounce that. Hey Adair! Medic! <laughs> nah. Have we met? Uh, not really. I was just transferred yesterday to the 4th squad. Uh, so I was wondering... Oh, so you're Coil's replacement. Is that the type of voice we're gonna give a dare? Yeah, I haven't been deployed before, have you? It doesn't, it doesn't fit him. No, it's gonna be my first time tomorrow, but I'm pr- You seem way too calm. Well, I've been waiting for this day for years. I've never seen the sun before. Wh what time period is this taking place in? Try not to stare too much at it. Unless you want to go blind. Huh? You don't know a thing about the surface, do you? I wouldn't get my hopes up if I were you. The surface is an awful place. What about the surface is an awful place? So what's the premise of this whole story? Hmm? Why don't you lighten up a bit? This is no time for relax. Wow, what an obnoxious little prick. <laughs> but he's our medic, so he's our obnoxious little prick. And what about that was obnoxious? I think he was just answering our questions. Nothing about that was obnoxious. Go to sleep, continue exploring. Well, there's nothing worth exploring. Day 2, Intercontinental Platform, Inside the Core. More than 15 hours have passed already. For the first time, I'm sitting on the platform that connects me to the surface. This thing has been shaking the whole time and it makes an ominous noise that won't let me sleep. You guys looked wiped out, to say the least. To be honest, I'm not feeling too well either. I haven't eaten anything during the whole ride, but I guess that's because they expected us to fall asleep. I'm already in a cranky mood and to make things worse, I'm sitting right next to this guy. What, a dare? Ah, there's our bro. Yeah, we're sitting next to him. Hey. You should try to get some sleep. You know what? I'm too tired to pretend to be polite. Screw this guy. What? Didn't you say this was this wasn't the time to relax? Pfft. <laughs> 
What? Are you still mad about that thing I told you yesterday? You know, right now is not the time to... No, no, no it's okay. I appreciate your honesty. Did I just stumble into a Yaoi game? I was told this was not a Yaoi game. Is that sarcasm or what? It's nothing like that. People are, people are always kissing my ass, and if I wouldn't take care of them if they piss me off. But let me save you the trouble. I'm a professional. I don't mix feelings with my job. Being my friend doesn't mean that I'll take care of you first. Okay, thanks for telling us your backstory. Um, the writing could be better in this game. Show, don't tell. So tell me, weren't you trying to do the same thing yesterday? I tried talking to you because I don't know anyone in the squad. I couldn't care less that you happen to be our medic. We're an asshole. <laughs> is, th is that so? Well, I'm glad you're not as cynical as the others. Man, I've got news for you. Um, if you're still willing to listen to me, there are a couple of things I wanted to tell you about the surface since you were transferred so suddenly. I'm guessing you haven't been properly introduced. I just got a briefing today, so... Take a guess. Really, you seem so curious about the sun that I thought I should warn you a little. To be honest, I don't know if the sun could leave you blind, but what I do know is that it burns. It burns like pouring alcohol on an open wound. You can even toast your skin. It's quite fascinating. I don't find that fascinating, I find that terrifying. Why is this guy still talking? It's been like five minutes already. We're definitely an asshole. So yeah, based on that, I wouldn't even try to look at it too much. Sounds to me the surface was awfully designed. Well, it certainly wasn't designed for us. What? What was that? Did we finally arrive or... Oh, even the lights went out. Is this gonna turn into something like 2033? Or Metro Last Light? We have arrived! Everyone get ready! We are opening the hatch! Is it like Fallout? As soon as the door opened that separated us from the outside world, a strong and musty odor filled my lungs. My uniform got all damp and it got glued to my body as if a vacuum was sucking out the remaining air inside. The surface is gross. It's a bird! Hi, little bird! Ravens are used as saving points. Interact with them to save your progress? Wow! We can save at the bird, but okay. And we're walking so slow. Might as well take in the view, right? Hi there, bird. Save. Sure. So, what is there to see in the outside world? Where is this sun that burns so much? That's some atmospheric music. Listen up, ladders and gentlemen. See those buildings up ahead? We'll set up camp there. We need to clear the area first. We've sent out drones and we are currently analyzing the area. So far, there are around 30 targets. We need to act fast. 30 targets of what? I know you must be fatigued after the long trip, but this should be an easy task for the fourth squad. Any questions? Go to your positions. Bye, Sarge. Who are we supposed to be fighting in this game? Rourke, can you hear me? Yup, what is it? Can you see the enemy base from here? Yeah, I see a couple buildings up ahead. Okay, listen, the signal jammer has been deployed. And we are now about to cut the power supply. After the power has been cut, this will be your chance to attack. Sure, just leave it to me. I'll go to my position. We will hide behind this bush. Hello. Is that a base? Looks more like a tiny town to me. Uh, there's no way the enemy didn't notice that. 
Yeah, we just turned off the power to everything. Prob someone was probably jerking off in the computer and said, Ah, my god, my power! Rourke, you should be able to see four targets from where you're standing. Are you ready? Whoa. Hello. Bang. Come back here. Here, little boy. Hi there. Bang. This feels a bit lackluster. The gunshots aren't as impactful as what I thought they would sound. He was just taking a smoke. Why did we have to kill him? Is this Ash Ketchum? I'm sorry, Ash. I am the league champion now. There he is clear. Get down the hill. You should be able to get a better view of their base. Base. On my way. Go down the rope. Look around. What is there to look around for? It's another burp! Can we save? Yeah, we can save. Lots of save points in this game. So, the thing on our upper right are probably the amount of people in the base we have to take care of. There are about four more soldiers left. I can't go there, I need to stay hidden. Can we go this way? Nope. How about here? This spot should be fine. Hello. We meet again, Ash Ketchum. Prepare to die. That's right, run, little one, run! Okay. This sniper rifle sounds more like a BB gun. This this way is this is way too easy. No wonder everyone thinks highly of Coil. I should probably meet with the rest of the team. Is everyone here? I want you all to explore every building in every alley. Any target kept alive is a threat to the operation. Go, go, go! If we're rushing so much, why are we still walking us at a snail's pace? Hi there! The building is empty, but you might never know if they have some sort of secret bunker. Well, I don't know. I, I was told to keep an eye out for it. Hi there. Apparently, this is where the enemies store their supplies, but the captain won't let us inside. Why not? Why not? Hey, we can't enter until the captain gives us a heads up. I'm guessing we have to do something before we enter the supply the storehouse. Hello. An enemy. Come back. I'm gonna chase you. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Shit, he's really fast. And we're still walking. Who's this? Alcohol has been added to your inventory. Praise the gods we found alcohol in the wilderness. Following an enemy in his own base. This is such an obvious trap. But since we know it's a trap, we're going in it anyway. It's just a bunch of tires. Did you see someone pass by just now? I can't see a thing, honestly. It's too dark in here. How about this door? Did you go here? Knock knock! There's no one inside. We already took care of it. So where was the enemy? We left him. He's probably somewhere hiding all the goods. The road ends up ahead. I don't think there's any left. Any place left to check. What is this box? Incendiary bullets have been added to the inventory. We have so many incendiary bullets. What are we gonna use them for? Where are you? I see you, but I don't know where you are. It's getting a little dark here. It smells pretty bad. I finally have you. 
He ran into a wall. This, this is suspiciously easy. Am I gonna get ambushed or something? Hello, good sir. Would you like a warning shot into your forehead? What? Wait, what is this? Is it Pikachu? Oh! That's the ugliest Pikachu I've ever seen. It's a little boy. This is definitely a kid. There's no way he'd be armed. Uh -huh. mm. At times of war? Sir, I've found a kid. He seems to be alone. Did you shoot him? What? No, but he's really scared, sir. Are we gonna have to shoot this kid? Then what are you waiting for, soldier? Mm, we're gonna have to shoot this kid. Sir, he's just a kid. I doubt he's any threat to this operation. Or for fuck's sake. Was that supposed to be a gunshot? Don't question your chain of command, you damn boot. That was not supposed... They could work on the sound effects of the guns in this game because they are not believable whatsoever. I'll take care of this. Go somewhere else. Okay. Bye, Pikachu. I'm sorry we had to kill you. Poor kid. Or whatever. Where do we go now? Back to the storeroom? I guess we'll go back to the storeroom. Why we can't just run? I have no idea. Can we just run? Oh, we slumped down to the ground. Are we having a guilt, guilt trip? Where are we now? Why are we in Adair's house? This is definitely a Yaoi game. Well, where am I? Everything is so colorful, it hurts my eyes. Hiya there. Are you feeling better? Where am I? Am I dead? Um, did you really just ask that? It's so cliche. You just fainted. Probably because you hadn't had sleep or eaten anything. We sent soldiers out to battle without having food. Anyway, the area is clear now, so you can sleep a bit longer if you need to. You still look a bit pale though. I'll get you some water. Thanks, medic. But hey. Thanks. It's okay. To be honest, nobody's gotten injured yet, so I haven't got much to do here. I mean, not that I want to g someone to get injured or anything. Oh my god, that's so Sundere. This guy is so weird. He's so fucking Sundere. <laughs> it's not like I don't want anyone to get injured or anything. I want to bandage him up myself. What you got there, there? Sorry, tap water tastes funny, so I got you one of these from the store. By the way, do you remember anything before you passed out? Yeah, we killed the kid. I mean, Pikachu. It, yeah, I remember it clearly. I don't mean to pressure you, but I was told you almost left one of the targets escape. Um, how do I put this kindly? Whatever. Could have cost us the mission, you know. What happened back there? I didn't feel like shooting a kid. He was a civilian. A kid. He wasn't going to attack me or anyone else. So I didn't know if I had to shoot him at all. By the way, why'd you make an exception for this target? Killing enemy soldiers is a different story. That's what I've been trained to do all my life, but killing a civilian for no reason? Wait a minute. What? We do have a reason? I'm surprised you haven't you have come this far and yet you haven't figured out what this kind of operation we're into. I thought you'd be, you would have realized that by the time the targets weren't fighting back, they were all kids. Wait, none of my targets were soldiers? Are we at the wrong location? 
What the hell is going on? I don't believe this. But I don't get it. Why would Poland need our help then? How could they possibly benefit from killing civilians? Besides, for such a dirty job, wouldn't it be better if we weren't using our uniforms? Have you seen any Polish soldiers here? There's no war going on in Kaliningrad, Rourke. What? Huh? We were sent here to change that. Wait, what? We were sent here to start a war? This makes no sense. I can't even process all this shit right now. But why Poland? Why Russia? I just don't get it. I'm afraid that's all I know. But what are we then? Some kind of terrorists? It's called a false flag operation. How's that any different? How could you be so calm knowing that? Don't get me wrong, I don't like this either, but what else can we do? Go and try to tell the captain that you want to leave. We could always bail, right? Let's get out of here! Don't be stupid. We'd just be execu executed for desertion in a second. At this point, that wouldn't be so bad. Seriously, you need to calm down a little. You aren't thinking clearly. This dog tag. Even the name on it has nothing to do with me. Would they actually know if it belonged to me if I die? Did you just break his dog tag? Okay. Here, I'll save you the hassle. You're insane, you know that? Just a bit. I don't plan to get caught though. So we're bailing just because their first operation had, had us killing civilians? This guy's a pussy of a soldier. Hi, Mill Burb, and why are you in this room? I won't ask these questions, but sure, we'll save. Sure, little Burb. Let's save. Leave house, don't leave. Don't leave? Can we still talk to Adair? Hi, there. Try not to get killed out there. Ah, no, he's not gonna follow us. He's not the Sundar I thought he was. Wait, if you're really planning to go, take some supplies. I have some extra rations. Or maybe he is. <laughs> Uh, there, you care about us. Uh, thanks? But what about you? You know, as a medic, I have permission to take wounded soldiers into the other facilities myself, without supervision. But I'm not wounded. I just need to fill out paperwork reporting on a somewhat serious condition, and you just need to act the part. They should give us enough time to flee before they notice we aren't coming back. Uh, there, you're joining us. I can't guarantee it'll work though. Okay, Adair's coming with us after all. Are you sure about that? Well, I'm not too thrilled about staying here any longer. Plus, you seem pretty confident. If there's any small chance that we could get out of here, I'd like to try it. Besides, I think you might need my help considering you're forgetting your rifle here. Oh, uh huh, okay. So, Adair is coming with us to escape this, whatever outfit it is. There's a sergeant. Hi, Sarge. We're going nowhere. Can I help you? I need to take him to the field hospital. It doesn't have... I don't have the necessary tools here. Man, what is it with our snipers, lady? First coil, now the you guy. Hand me the paperwork. Hmm... How long will this take? Three to four hours should be enough, I think. We'll be back before it gets dark. We need to make sure this titanus... Tinnitus? I think that's supposed to be titanus. It's in something serious. We can't afford to lose another sniper. Tinnitus? I think even... S yeah, what the hell is tinnitus? He's our medic. Did he just... Outright. Fuck up. Uh, hey bud, did you forget to wear ear protection? Oh, he's on to us. Uh, so it's got something to, to do with my ears, I guess? Answer weakly. Pretend not to hear. Pretend not to hear. 
His ears seem to be heavily clogged too, so I need to run an audiometric test. But we don't even have an autoscope here. Really? Ah, those pricks from the third squad always get all the resources. Speaking of that, you should ask them if they could spare us some coffee. We're running out short. Sure, will do. That was surprisingly easy. But what about Branna? We can't just leave her. Well, whatever. We have a dare. A dare has been added to your party. His items have been added to the inventory. Where are we now? Hello. What's a sign for? That sign should tell us where we are, right? Oh yeah, let me check. That's in Russian. That's in Russia. Yeah, that was really helpful. So how do we cross this pond? There, you have any, any ideas? Do you need something? Well, I guess we go forward. Or not. Wait, don't cross yet. Why not? Well, this river may, be, may not be too deep. Its flow might be strong. We should make sure it's safe to cross. Seriously, we can't waste time on something like this. We're fugitives, so might as well rush. Okay, let me find something we could use as bridge. Are we supposed to look for some logs? What are you doing? We can't go back. Maybe we can use this? What is this thing? Are these good enough? Sure, bring them to me. Wooden plank has been added to the inventory. Here, there, make a bridge. Alright, pass me the plank. How are you going to put them together? It slipped. Did you drop it on purpose? Of course not. At least we know that the river's flow is ins insignificant, so just cross the damn thing. For someone who acts high and mighty, this guy is pretty dumb. He's an oblivious Meganite. Hello. Berries have been added to our inventory. Go check our inventory. Items. Bandages, berries, energy bar. 10, 25, 30. Rubbing alcohol. Highly flammable antiseptic liquid. Sure. Let's go up this thing. Hi, little burb. Sure, let's save our progress. Let me guess, you want me to find something heavy and test the bridge now. With that attitude, I'm still deciding if I should follow you. A dare. You know you want to follow us just because you love us. Bye there. I swear this game should be called Long Gone Gaze. Wait, do you hear that? I hear that. What? The river? No, no, something I've heard before, like a buzz. Must be some kind of insect. That is no insect. Quick, hide! I dare get over here. I dare! Shit, it's one of our drones. During battles, it is important to keep an eye on your team's morale. The morale is affected by the mental state of each character. Their morale can be boosted by telling them what they need to hear in, in and outside of battles. High morale means they have better defense and higher attack power, while low means they have lower defense and lower attack power. If a character's morale gets close to zero, they will become demotivated, which means they won't fight until their morale is boosted again. So it's kind of like stress in Darkest Dungeon. Hurry up and take cover, what are you waiting for? I'll try to shoot it down before it notices us. Are we gonna shoot it down? Hello! Oh, it's hovering right above us. Alright, it's not even moving. Um, Doc? I'm telling you, we should leave it alone. Whatever, I'll try to take it down with one shot by myself. Attack! Should we use an incendiary bullet? We should use an incendiary bullet. Um... Sure. Fire! Hurrah! We got it. 
Oh no, we made it mad. We made it mad! Head there, I could really use your help right now. What's the point, really? Our plan already failed. Even if this thing doesn't kill us, we'll get executed by our own brothers. I know we'll make it. We could at least try, damn it. Gee, I wonder which one of these options will boost morale. Can't know that for sure. Cut the crap. I was wrong! <laughs> well played, game. Well played. So, there's a body in the left wing. I say we take out the wings. That seems the most logical. Ah! Oh, that hit hard. Okay, I'll help you out, but this better work. So, yeah, Adair can heal us, he's our healer. But might as well attack. Kill it. It missed Rourke. Good job. Let's keep attacking the wing and maybe it'll fall out of the sky. Alright, let's shoot the other wing. We should aim for the wings. The body seems to be pretty resistant. What? You really think shooting it down would be enough? Well, we gotta do something. Alright, alright, I'll do it. Morale up! It seems like a coin flip to get morale up and morale down. It doesn't seem to be all that complex. There! I'll keep shooting. You can heal yourself. First aid, heal. 50 HP. We're at 74. And we could probably attack some more before healing. It missed! Okay, Rourke's gonna need some healing. Rourke! Hold on, I'ma heal you. I'ma heal you, Rourke. Brilliant. Let's take a look. Is this gonna explode? Adair, step back please. Adair! Adair? Okay. <laughs> you just had to move. Mm -hmm. There's some odd looking bullets here. That's because I fired incendiary rounds into it. Incendiary bullets have been added to the inventory. Those were my bullets. Well, whatever. Go downhill. Yep. Gonna try to escape. Hello, little bird. Um, is this also a bird? Okay, so we, we can only save at the ravens. Which is odd. More berries. Can we check our health? Status. Okay, so health doesn't heal out of combat. Trait. Sarcastic, creative, impulsive. What about Adair over here? Honest, pessimistic, distrustful. I'm guessing we should probably eat some berries to heal up a bit. Probably heal up a bit. 25? Sure, energy bars. You can heal up Adair over there. Two energy bars for Adair. Two energy bars for Rourke. Should be fine on that. Bye, Adair. I'm gonna leave you behind. I'm gonna go get Brana. This little burb. Hello. Okay. <laughs> Why can't I? <gasps> it's a raven. It is the save burb. Oh, just my luck. This is the end of the road. Let's rest for a bit and think. We should think of a proper escape plan before we proceed. There's some alcohol. Alcohol. Let's save first. Hi, little burb. We can save. What's this rock? This rock doesn't se seem to be stuck in the ground. Maybe I could push it. Keep it down. Someone could hear you. Well, I'm sorry I can't lift this rock, but there's a path here. 
Well, we can just push this. Oh, there's some Pokemon Sapphire type of bullshit. I'll keep an eye out for threats. Talk to me if you need any help. We become stuck while pushing the rocks. Talk to a dare to reset them in the original position. Yeah, this is some Pokemon type of puzzle bullshit. <laughs> Alright. So, we can move this up there. What we want to do is push this out of the way. Hmm. If we push, if we push this one forward, we'll get trapped. Push this up. Push this. Hoda! We did it. Hello, it's a cave. Would there be any Zubats in there? A cave, huh? Yeah, it's a cave. Good job, Captain Obvious. Deep in the spooky cave, the two gays have, I mean, the two soldiers have been exploring throughout. So I should have asked this before, but where are we actually headed? Wait, you decided to escape and you don't know where you're headed? Towards the northeast. Wait, that's it? We don't have an actual destination? For this operation, two squads were deployed. Ours in the third squad. The third squad is located as of south southwest of base. As long as we keep walking towards the northeast, we should be fine. There's also a small town just a couple miles from here, but we can't just barge in wearing these uniforms. Someone's coming. Sikamalat! Sikamalat! Drop your weapons! Sikamalat? You guys are an embarrassment to the core. Okay, uh, let's just, you know, let's just shoot his body. I can't. I can't. I, I don't really want to risk. Send the air shot. Bang. 31. Uh, let's keep attacking the body. There's no way to see the HP of these enemies. It's you. Nah, I guess they don't show the HP. Whatever. Let's keep shooting the body! And... Let's heal up Roar. Whoa! That worked. The enemy has been defeated. Do we get some loot? Hi there. You seem to be bleeding. You need some help. You're, you're the... You're not saving anyone by doing this. I don't blame you if you don't. If you want to do this, but this is the time for the people of the core. They will kill father for sure. Cuff, cuff. The hell? Shit, you're talking about. I'd never have thought that I'd be fighting one of my own brothers. Are we doing the right thing? Well, I guess we're outside of that game. I don't get it. That guy just now, he's not from the third squad. Maybe he was replacing someone just like me. Are we gonna run into Coil one of these days? Even if with that we're through. He came from the north, not from the third squad's base. Well, no point wondering about it now. There's another bird. This game is really generous with save points. What the hell is that? What is this under the tree? Energy bar. That was convenient. Let's heal Rourke. Let's heal Rourke. 30. Bandage. You probably need bandages because... Adair's abilities need bandages, so let's just use the energy bars outside of combat. Use berries. Bye, little burb. I will call you the save burb. We found them! Okay. Really? We're gonna do this at the fork in the road? Let's end this quickly. Yeah, 
I, I have no time for this. Let's use in the incendiary shots in their heads. That worked. Enemy soldier has been defeated. Mess. Hit work. Let's just keep using incendiary shots since they're very effective. What do you even plan to do with the manager escape? We'll try to live a normal life. Anything is better than being part of this operation. Morale up! You're just wasting your time. Whatever you do, you will get will get you nowhere. You think anyone will offer the shelter you hear after the news spread? Since the moment you decided to desert, the whole world became your enemy. You guys are on your own. I'm still curious about the premise of this world. It's like... Adair said that the sun was dangerous, but why are we out in the sunlight? What organization are we, and why do we own this world? Rock, do you actually have an idea of what we could do once we escape? We're gonna have to hide for the rest of our lives. More soldiers? Shit, more of them coming. Yeah, we have to make a run for it. Ah, run, no gaze. I knew it, we were walking right into another squad's base. There were supposed to be only two squads in Kaliningrad. Why is this happening? How could you even think that? How did anyone try to invade Russia with only two tiny squads? You don't invade Russia. Russia invades you. Because we need to be discreet or something. Shut up! Oh, we're being chased down. Run, my beautiful gaze. Shit, there's a river up ahead. But this one's huge. To hell with it! We're gonna jump in the river. That's a small ass river. More of a waterfall. Kind of like a pond. Are we drowning? Are there? No. Hmm. Those are some funky looking orchids. There's a rifle. Sick of blood. I have to commend the artist for this game. He or she is very talented. The sprite work and the anime art is very high quality. And that's the end of the demo. Well, that was that was a promising RPG Maker game. That was long gone days. It's currently available on Itch.io right now. You could play it. I think there's only one developer behind it. So, thanks for playing the prototype demo of Long Gone Days. If you enjoyed it, please consider the following. Consider following the development at longgondays.com. So there you have it, guys. If you're interested in the game, support it at its website and check it out on Itch.io. You'll be now taken back to the title screen. And there we have it. My name is Nez, and thanks for watching this episode of the Saturday Select, where we play promising but still in development video games. We played Long Gone Days this week, and it was very good for RPG Maker standards. Lots of RPG Maker games are usually, at least the ones in development, are usually very low quality. Lots of asset flipping. But this one, I didn't see any asset flipping at all for what I've seen. A lot of the art's original, a lot of the CG is original. The writing could use work and the morale system could use more complexity. It was practically coin flips on getting Adair's morale up or down. So it was like mass it's like Mass Effect Renegade and Paragon choice options. It was that distinct. But it's a very promising RPG Maker game. I mean I'm I might be interested in playing a playthrough of it once it finally releases, if it ever releases, but for now, my name is Nez, and thanks for watching.